Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of those Quick Dwarf Fortress tutorials. In this video we're going to be talking about keeping bees and making mead. In order to make mead, well, and keep bees, of course you're going to need bees on your map. So here we have a little colony of honeybees that's popped up, which has me very excited. So what you're going to do, once you have your colony of honeybees, is you're going to go find your craft dwarf shop. Down here in this craft dwarf shop we are going to make beehives. Now, as you can see right here, we're making a rock hive. Once this hive is completed, we are going to construct it up on the surface. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go right next to this. Now, beehives always have to be on the surface, but they can sort of be underground if you give them a little vent hole. So the bees do need access to the surface, so keep that in mind. Now we're going to go over to workshops, farming, and grab ourselves a beehive. We're going to place it right here. So we could place it underground, but we would have to dig little tunnels so that the bees could see the surface. They need access to the sky in order to work. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get this hive constructed. Our little dwarf over here is going to grab it, and then they're going to yoink that little beehive and put it in here. So now, what we have to do is we have to wait a little bit, but we've got this. Gather products, which requires a jug, okay? And then install colony when ready, which it already did, and then gather products when it's ready. So it will destroy the bee colony. So they will need to go get more bees from elsewhere in order to continue making mead. So once this is ready, I'll continue the video. But while this hive is getting its stuff going, and the, the 19,131 bees in this colony are being busy being bees, what we're going to do is we're going to prepare a few other things. We're going to need a crafts dwarf's shop, which we already have down in the basement, but we're also going to need a mechanics workshop, because we need two mechanisms. So I'm going to plop down this mechanics shop right here, and we're going to fly underground, and we're going to do some jobs in the basement with our craft dwarf shop here. So as you can see, we're making more rock hives, but we can actually cancel that job. But what I do need is I need jugs. Now, jugs are made in the rock menu of the craft dwarf shop. Of course, you could automate these uh, using the manager, but we're just gonna queue up jugs and just click repeat. Now, what jugs are essentially is they are a material for our, or they are the storage case for our mead. Mead is only stored in jugs. Uh, don't ask me why. <laughs> I, I designed the thing. Uh, so what we're going to do from here... So while this beehive over here is doing its thing, there's something else that I need to show you. We've constructed this mechanics workshop because we are going to need two mechanisms because we're going to need to make a screw press next. Another thing that's going on down here in the lower level is we are making jugs alongside of some more hives. These jugs are going to be used uh, to store our honey once we actually have honey that is ready to be harvested at this beehive. So what we're going to do is we're going to make those two mechanisms and once those two mechanisms are done we are going to construct, we are going to make ourselves uh, a screw press which apparently is actually hiding somewhere else right here. We're going to make one of these as soon as it's available. So we will need a second one of these. And then once those two mechanisms are complete, we are going to make a screw press. And a screw press is a workshop that can be found right uh, here. Screw press, there it is. Uh, or which can also be selected using the capital R hotkey. And uh, we just need this dwarf here to finish placing this. And it does take two mechanisms to make it. So you will need two. Otherwise, this will not work. So once that is complete, we are going to bring the dwarves back over and we are going to build this screw press. And there it is. That is our screw press. So now we have our beehive with 19,000 bees and we have our screw press. So what this screw press is going to do is it's going to take uh, the wax and the wax comb and all that and it's going to press it into honey, royal jelly, and a wax cake. The wax cake can be made into wax crafts at the Crafts Dwarf Shop. You can make them into necklaces, rings, bracelets, all sorts of fun things. And the honey can be brewed into mead, which is the whole point of this video. As well as the royal jelly, which can be cooked. So you're getting a food product, which is the royal jelly. You are getting honey, which is for your mead. And you are getting wax crafts. So you get three separate industries rolling from nothing but bees. Also, I love the little bee sprite. It's so cute. Since we're still waiting for this hive to do its thing, if we click on the screw press, you'll see some other things. The screw press has the ability to press honey from honeycomb, press liquid from fruit, press liquid from paste, as well as press plant slurry into paper sheet. 
this is part of the uh, process of making books, which is a tutorial I will have to put together one of these years. And this is as part of uh, making oil. Uh, and this is also for making oil, just different kinds of oil, which are different kinds of dwarven cooking materials. Uh, over here, as we can see, it's been, we're into midsummer now, and some migrants have just arrived, and it is still not ready to place the beehive. I do not know if there's other beehives on the map, but let's place a couple more of these hives while we're at it. So as you can see, we have honey that has popped up at this first hive. So now that we have honey, we now have this honey bee wax comb. The hive's gonna continue doing its thing. We also have a jug that is sitting here and ready to grab the royal jelly. So if I look at this, we can actually see that it has royal jelly. So this will just be used as part of cooking. Keep in mind, these do get put into, into tool stockpiles and can end up in bins. And I, at least back in the past, this used to cause some problems with job cancellations and whatnot. So you might want to make a stockpile specifically for royal jelly. We're going to do just that right now. I'm going to jump up here and we are going to make a real quick stockpile. And I'm just going to make it for honey and royal jelly. So this will be under, I think, food products. Um... And this will be under animal products, extract animal. There we go. So we're going to make bumblebee, honey, royal bee, jelly, and uh, we don't need to worry about the bee venom. So this is all going to now go into that stockpile right there. Now what we're going to do is we are going to grab our screw press, and we are going to press honey from honeycomb. Now what this is going to do is the dwarf's going to run over, and they are going to grab that honey bee wax, and they are going to press it. Now, it's going to require a, you know, a container to put it in, so in this case, a jug, and then once that is ready, and we have our lovely, lovely honey, we can then brew some mead. Turns out that we were out of barrels, so now that we have our honey be wax cake. This can be crafted into crafts at the craft store shop, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but apparently we, we were out of barrels. Once we have some barrels available, we will be able to make mead. So now, as you can see, mead is available to brew. So we are going to brew ourselves some mead. Let's make our very first ever barrel of mead. I don't know about you, but this is actually my first mead in this version of the game. Bees are kind of a slow and arduous pro process, and can run into some issues, but it can be quite a rewarding series of crafts that you can create. Considering you get delicious drinks, you get delicious royal jelly, and you also get wax crafts. So if I jump down here into this craft store shop, now we suddenly have a whole new option. We can now make wax crafts. They will go grab the uh, honey bee comb, or the, the pressed honey bee comb from the screw press, and they will make wax crafts. Cra crafts, not crass. While this tutorial might be short, this recording certainly wasn't. It took almost 55 minutes to record this whole process, just because, you know, brewing honey takes, or making mead out of honey takes over a year almost in game. So I just wanted to say a real quick thank you very much for watching this entire video through to the end. If you want to see more videos like this, I have a whole playlist of them. And if you would like to see my face while I play video games on the internet, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays are guaranteed streams, and bonus streams will show up around that over on twitch.tv slash blindirl. Thank you very much for watching.